Hello everyone and welcome to the demo for Harvey and the Seven Crystal Orbs. Uh, this is another uh, developer request by Luke Plays. Let's go ahead and start this. Today, a story of love, hope, and war will be told. Also, is this Paper Mario music? For generations, the seven tribes lived in harmony. Magic transpired between them all. It was a happy life. The residents of each place were filled not with greed, but happiness and prosperity. Love was shared between all. No one ever got hurt. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, the only one who wasn't living that dream was Count Fang. That even sounds like a Paper Mario character. <laughs> this world, it is filled with things I can never again see. Sir, if you would be so kind, many are aware you are awaiting you for a meeting. I have a cha uh, change of plans for us, Claw. Perhaps, uh... Yeah, okay. Perhaps uh, the world needs a reality check. Reality check? I'm not quite sure what you mean by FOOL! I want every last minion put to work. Take every single one and put their energy into the ending's orb. When you are done, notify me. Then we will reset the world, show them what I must go through. Sir, your minions, they will die from this. That is a sacrifice I am willing to endure. The hour of doom now impedes this world. After all, it's done. It's done it to me. I can get it. I can get back at it. The world was reset by Count Fang's twisted and bent will. What he didn't know was that the rest, the reset, uh, brought a new hero with it. Gob, Gobblins. <laughs> it's Sapling City. It's charming and an old. Okay, yeah, I I know this song. This is all Paper Mario music. <laughs> Hell, even the font looks a little bit like Paper Mario 2. God, dude, like... <laughs> it's charming in an odd sort of way. Well, I probably shouldn't delay. I should ask around and get into um, info on those uh, elusive crystal orbs everyone wants to find. Use the arrow keys. Okay, looks pretty typical RPG Maker Fair. Let's see, 10 health. So this is another game that, that deals in small numbers, I take it. Nothing equipped. No description. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Harvey? <laughs> oh, wait, one last thing. There we go. I found this ugly badge yesterday. You can have it. I'm tired of looking at it anyway. I mean, sure, he is the protagonist, so... I'm assuming he's gonna be in the party for most of the game. I lost a lot of my produce today. All I could salvage was a pointless floral leaf. Why don't you take it? I don't need this old thing in my pocket anyway. So you're the new guy, huh? Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, sort of the new guy. It's only temporary, though. Temporary? You aren't living here? Oh, you scared me. I know exactly what you're here for. You do? I'm not an idiot, dude. You're an, uh, you're an adventurer from a far-off land who wants to see if he can find the seven crystal orbs just for the heck of it. You're spot on. What are you, a fortune teller? Kinda, I can read minds, so a little bit like that. You seem pretty knowledgeable about Sapling City. Would you happen to know how I can get to, get to a crystal orb? Any one of them. Maybe, here's the deal. I think you might wa uh, want to talk to everyone else here and see if... Veil is spelled wrong if... wait. Yeah, okay. They'll give you anything you need uh, for your littlest escapade. Then come back and talk to me and maybe I'll help you find one. Deal? Okay, great, bye. I think I've already talked to everyone, actually. It's just two people. Alright, then follow me. Welcome to my humble hideout. Cinnamon is her name. This place used to be a, a tomb for the great king of Sapling City. He's long gone now, though, so I took it. No biggie. There's also a lot of treasure down here. I personally need, um, never took it just because I didn't need it. You can have it, though. I'll catch you later. Meet me in the room furthest back, okay? Oh, 
Oh, okay, typically you can climb down those. <laughs> You know, oddly, I've never really played much Paper Mario. Boulder must have broke apart. I, I, that, that's something a Switch can do, I guess. <laughs> I've seen Chekka Conroy play, like, the first three, and I think I've played Super Paper Mario myself. Simon, what's going on? Get off that crystal, you dumb go goblin. Hey, you, can you help me? Alright, I'll help, let's do this. Oh wait, I uh, I have no yeah I have no TP move, so like all, all I can do is attack. Huh? Okay, so I only take like one or two damage, but like enemies can take upwards of like twenty. That feels something about that feels a little weird. I don't know. Thanks. I ne I never got your name. I'm Harvey. So you're probably wa uh, wondering just <clears throat> wondering what just happened. I was my own business when I saw this nasty little goblin try to touch that crystal. Who knows what would have happened if you weren't here? That thing would have been shattered. That crystal, by the way, hold- he's still there. <laughs> One of the crystal orbs. So, I mean it when I say that, um, that you can take it. It's the least, uh, I can give you for now. I also hear the next one is in the high-rise desert. Follow the road going west to Sapling City and you'll make it there. Go ahead, take the red crystal orb. Cinnamon's gratitude spilled out of her smile, and she thanked Harvey for saving her of the big crystal. Now it seems that the next crystal orb is located in the desert, west of Sapling City. Harvey now, with courage bundled up tight, set off to find the next crystal orb. Harvey didn't uh, know this, but Count Fang sent the, the goblin to destroy the crystal. What? How could you possibly lose to a child? You are a disgrace. These new minions are awful. Of course, that there's a sack... That's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice for resetting everything. Try not be petty, Goblin. I want you back at good as new. No, better than new. You need to make sure every other crystal breaks. The orb sides are the only way to stop the endings orb, and Heart and Harvey's already got one. And now that I am repowering the endings orb, I can use. <clears throat> I can use it. Dom. I can use it. Dom. Dommy. Dominate, <laughs> sorry, every last bit of this new, sad, pathetic world. Yes, goblin away. Chapter 2. Hey, look, uh, le looks like the west side of town is open now. That's oddly convenient, but what's that glowing thing behind Cinnamon? Run for it. Can't you see all these squirmy little goblins coming our way? What is this sprite? I've never seen this before. <laughs> that looks like it's from the RTP. You look mighty strong, and you look like you know some magic. Magic? Yeah, you know, a, st a st stong attack that costs MP to use. When you choose the magic option in battle, you can see what you can use. Here they come. Use that skill uh, and finish them off quickly. Oh, I, I wasn't healed at all. Whoa, that hits everyone! So it seems they have around 30 health. It did 30 exactly. I wonder if that ability does fix damage. Boy, thanks for the help. I thought I was going to lose all my stuffing. My name is Jabbers, as you are. I've Harvey. Well, thank you. You took care of those uh, perpetrators like nothing. With you. Why did the word dominate give me trouble but not perpetrators? <laughs> With you, maybe... High Rise Desert can be saved from the invasion. If you come from High Rise Desert, maybe you could help me. I was heading there too. As a matter of fact, why don't you ta uh, you and I tag you tag along and help me? Oh boy, of course. All right, let's head to the desert. I I can't go back. I was gonna see what that glowing thing was. Okay, I hope I uh. <laughs> I hope that's not required for anything, grabbing that, or seeing what that thing is. There's just always problems in the uh, in the side of the side of town. It's time like these where I wish I had a steaming cup of coffee to drink, and a wicked chair to sit in. Now that would be nice. Oh dear, Sapling City's constant drama never ends. 
Also, hold on. Honestly, you seem like a hell sponge, and that's kind of it. <laughs> no skills, low attack, high agility, though. Oh, no, our agility is still higher. I don't know, maybe he'll get better stuff as we advance through the game. Okay, we got on-screen encounters. I'm gonna, like, try and level up the puppet a little bit. There we go. Okay, I think that's good enough. <laughs> All for Harvey. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Howdy, partner. My name is Bluto. I travel all over Sapling Kingdom, seeing the sights and learning all the who's and what's of the world. You know, I can tell you a lot about these places. Like here, Dustwell Path. A mighty old town was here long ago. Eventually, everyone left and the whole place riot away. It's funny, ain't it? I came here looking for answers, but instead I find more questions. Like, for example, all those little switches. I touch them... But I'm a little worried they'd hurt me somehow. And it's not like I can get up uh, the mountain to look for any answers to any to that anyway, because the the darn stairs are blocked by um by big old statues. What a dilemma. Oh wait, this is MV, I can hold down the button. Yeah, there we go. The fact that they do zero damage means there's like no reason not to do these battles. Those are very bad healing items. <laughs> oh, oh, this one's guarded. <clears throat> so, Peony Child, I uh, think he has permission to push the switch. Like not. Now me and my friends will uh, will totally pound you. Bibbo. <laughs> well, bye. Oh, that's a save point! Okay. Oh wait, I can save anywhere anyway. You! You are the guy! I am? Yes, you are the guy me need to punch. You are the guy me need to clobber. Okay then. <laughs> Oh, 
Crusher or Am Count Fang will not be happy. <clears throat> yeah, I think I know how to use Crusher's clobber move now. That's good. Boy, you're not doing great, Harvey. No doubt you can take on the the Pharaoh Rise. Thanks, Jabbers. So I'm guessing High Rise Desert is just ahead. Yes, sir. Find High Rise Bazaar first, though. See if anyone will help you enter the uh, the, the dueling pyramids. Let's not dilly dally. We've got a desert to save. Oh, now we get an overworld. <laughs> you, the one who just entered, come to ha come to house quickly. He's on the right side of the bazaar, past the wall. Hurry. What is this? I mean, you're the only one with magic, so I guess I'll give that to you. <laughs> real grass, real trees. <clears throat> People outside of the desert have the best vegetation. Why are you laying on the ground? <laughs> Do you see all this stuff? These trees, pots, rocks, bushes. This all just looks so random. Almost like some higher being who created the world and directs what we say and where we go. We need to fill up some empty space. Am I being weird? I'm being weird. Just come to my house and then I don't care. Nope, not me. I'm joking, obviously. If I wasn't wanting company, why would I leave the door unlocked? Also, please take some stuff. I need to get rid of as much as I can. Temporary closed forever. That's not how it works. This bazaar? It's truly the only good thing about High Rise Desert. Everything else here is either haunted, full of poison, or taken over by Fair Rise. Why, yes, fellow traveler, I am uh, abnormally tall. <laughs> I've seen some, like, RPG Maker sprite sets that, like, make all the NPCs tall, and, like, I, I feel like. In context, like, if you use them only for a game, they would look good, but, like, compared to, like, the chibi sprites, they look so cursed. <laughs> I feel like I have played some games that use the taller sprites, too. Like, when the, when every character looks like that, it actually looks pretty good. I'm out of my lunch break right now, but I'm gonna disappear and not return so, don't, so I don't have to work. Why are you standing on the counter? I wonder what, uh, what's in those towers. Well, there's no entrance, so maybe there's nothing. Dang, that just makes it more con uh, more curious. Let me in. That looks like a place there would be a treasure. So I just noticed, does the doll float? That's kind of cool. <laughs> There's no var uh, variation here. All the rooms are just the same. I think we're fully healed. Also, I really like this indoor theme. Is this from Paper Mario 2? This must be from one of the newer ones. I'm not really familiar with the newer Paper Marios. 
I just know a lot of people don't like them. <laughs> well, uh, the, the newest, newest one a lot of people liked. Okay, so, like, where the heck am I going? That guy said, like, past the wall on the right. Is there more town this way? Oh, there is. You would like to enter the super awesome tent of awesomeness. You can't. We can't enter. Why? The super awesome tent of awesome sounds amazing. It's not awesome. It's a not amazing. And as for why I cannot let you in, there's nothing inside. Now please leave. I have to work. I must do. I have work. I must do in the tent. Even though there's nothing inside the tent. Be quiet. Oh! Okay. I really hope you enjoyed it so far. Don't worry, I will complete the game. I'm working really hard on it, but expect news often. There will be a new demo whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Oh, whoops. I was gonna explore the desert a little bit and, like, see if there's anything else out there. We can redo this fight real quick. Ah, uh, okay then. <laughs> I mean, this was fun. It's very simple. There's not really much here right now, but it is meant to be a demo. I gotta say, I am a little confused as to, like, what the, like, unifying theme of this game is supposed to be, if that makes sense. Like, it just seems like it has a lot of, like, Paper Mario inspiration, but doesn't go all the way. Because, like, one thing I associate with Paper Mario's battle system is, like, really small numbers that still managed to be, like, pretty deep somehow, and, like, it looks like it was gonna do that by starting you with 10 health, but, like, some of the... But, but then, like, leveling up a few times, I'm already at 35, so that's clearly not what's gonna happen. <laughs> I kind of like Jabber so far. He's probably my favorite character. What is this song? This song sounds really familiar. Yeah, I guess that is the end of it. Wow, none of these areas can be entered right now. Huh. <laughs> it's... Oh, there we are, I guess. That was Harvey and the Seven Crystal Orbs, the demo for it. So, yeah. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.